What is going on everyone? This is Josh with ASAP Sports Network. I have here with me the one and only Benson Henderson. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Yeah, good good to have you. On. Well, thank you for coming on. Hey, I just want to say from the get-go, it's a privilege, man. Uh, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. So tell me, you know, you're a seasoned vet. You've been a part of this sport for decades and you've seen it grow so much. How do you feel now about seeing a promotion like United Fight League that's now offering not only stock shares but insurance now? Uh, I think it's awesome. I think I think this is the, exactly what fighters need to help make it uh, MMA mm -hmm. a more established, uh, welcome, uh, open, sporting, yeah. uh, actual career type choice. You can go into pro tennis, you can go into pro golf, you can be the number 130th yeah. ranked player on the, the world tennis tour and make a good living, have a yeah. nice house, Buy your wife nice stuff and have mm -hmm. a good living. You're 133rd in the, in the planet. Yeah. And for MMA, it's not exactly like that yet. <laughs> I think organizations like UFL are uh, helping make sure that that is the case that MMA is going to. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I have so much respect for what UFL is doing because it's, I like Harrison and the fact he has the idea of let's set a new foundation like tabula rasa, which is Latin for clean slate, to lay out a new foundation and to build a new set of opportunities for fighters. And it's amazing too, the fact you guys are here to participate and get to experience it too. Yeah, I think uh, a big part of that is uh, for everything, like in life in general, uh, but fighting organizations, for, for our government, for our relationships, everybody. Mm -hmm. The more transparency, transparency there is, mm -hmm. the better it is. Absolutely. The, the more you show uh, the world was behind the curtains and not having, having the curtain in the first mm -hmm. place. I think it's awesome. Uh, so UFL, I think, is, is not just preaches that, but they, they back it up, you know, so I, yeah. I'm, all, I'm all for it. I think it's great. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And is there a specific fight in this card that you're especially excited about? Uh, I got I got two uh, two my little brothers in the card. I got uh, hey. Delgado and Shane Shabnowski as the main event. Hey. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to those. I'll be in the corner for those guys. Awesome. I love that. I love that. And I also want to give a special shout out to well, Marcus McGee, because I've interviewed him a couple times and now he's going to be fighting for UFC on the 12th. Heck yeah, heck yeah, my little brother. Uh, another one out there putting in work, mm -hmm. staying on the grind. He, he's been at the, at the gym for a long time now. He's one of those guys who's always giving rounds, helping other guys get better, helping other guys, helping other guys get to that next level to the UFC. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's his turn and he is, man, he's shining. Yeah, he absolutely is, absolutely is. And so before I let you go, do you want to give a special shout out to anybody? Uh, no, special shout out to TMI, really just uh, to all the fans over the years. Thanks for all the support. And uh, thank you for the continued support uh, in this UFL endeavor, man. It's going uh, to be great, man. It really is. Yeah, absolutely. And hey, again, it's a privilege, man. And hey, I can't wait to see the future, all that you do with the sport behind the scenes and everything. It's going to be awesome. Thank you very much. Man. Awesome. Thank you.